This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 12 of the Space Marine Thunderfire Cannon tutorial. Alright, we're going to start by modeling this little piece right here on the support. Um, Alright, first create a box using auto grid, and you're going to want to place it mm, like this and drag it just below the line there. So you're going to want the height to be about mm, 1.55, length to be 10.87, and width to be 14.07. Um, convert it to an editable poly. Go into polygon mode and just scale this polygon down a bit. Select um, let's see. Select this bottom edge and just bring it down a bit. Okay. Um, then select these three edges and these two and chamfer. Chamfer them kind of large to be about 0.21 and give them two. Okay, next we're going to want to go into wireframe mode by pressing F3. Select this edge and this edge and connect them twice and then connect this edge, those two edges again once. Press F3 to get out of that. Um, bring this down a bit. Select that polygon and extrude. Extrude it about mm, 1.55. And use hinge from edge, pick hinge, select this bottom edge here. 90 and 4 should be good for us. Okay. Looks good. Um, next, we're going to want to create a cylinder, doesn't really matter about the size right now, um, align it in the Y and Z positions, um, bring the height segments down to 1, bump the sides up to about 20, yeah 20 looks good, um, and the radius you can have it about 3.827 the height can be about 0.8. Convert it to an editable poly and select the edges around the outside and chamfer. Chamfer them about 0.17. Select the inside edge and inset it a little bit about Inset it about one. Okay. Um, then you're gonna want to bevel it inwards and backwards a bit, Oops. and extrude it out. Bring this back. Okay. Select the outer edges. Oops. Uh, oh, sorry, that's border. Select the edges, chamfer, okay, and select like these, loop, chamfer, and okay. And let's do that one more time. So inset, make the inset amount about 0.38. Um, just bevel it back in and extrude. You're going to want to extrude about mm, about 0.42. Select those edges and chamfer them. Okay. Next, create a cylinder using auto grid right on top there. Align it in the Y and Z position. Give it. 
six sides, you're going to want to increase the radius of it to about 0.65, convert it to an editable poly, select the edges here and chamfer, chamfer them about 0 0.05. Alright, next we're going to want to create another type of rivet for us, so make a little workstation, a uh, cylinder, auto grid, and just create a cylinder, make it have, actually, no, don't do that, um, do it over here, so we can gauge the distance. So create a cylinder, make the radius about uh, 1, and the height about 0.34, convert to an editable poly, um, select those edges, chamfer, okay, select the polygon, inset it a bit, Okay, extrude um, by about 0.24 and scale it in, then extrude one more time by less and bring that in. So we kind of like a, a head on it. Okay, just name that. Um, Rivet two. Okay. Um, next, you're gonna want to, sorry, run the placement tool. Set this thing as your source, and select that as distribution one. Okay. When you're ready to place, just click and drag. And then for now, just move this off to the side there, so we can keep one handy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's just run the script one last time. Set that as source. Pick distribution one. Rivet. And just place it uh, here and here. Okay. Actually, let's do that. Let's uh, just copy this over. Okay. And rotate it a bit. Alright. Looks pretty good. I think at this point we can copy it over. So go in the left view, select everything, and go into the top view. Shift and drag. Okay. Rotate 180 degrees. Make sure angle snap is on and position. Okay. Now we have the two base sections here. Um, actually, let's not do that because I think I'm going to work on the back a bit. So just undo that. Uh, that'll be it for part 12. I'll see you in part 13.